remember Michael Hastings, whose vehicle blew up a few weeks ago in Los Angeles in the middle of the night after he said he was going into hiding and had had death threats? I'm going into hiding. Biggest story of my life. I'm getting death threats. Boom. Engine blows down the street. Car rolls over off the side of the road. Well, now mainstream news out in L.A., San Diego News 6 and others are reporting that, they, that they've talked to the police and firefighters and others, and they've been told, don't talk about it and don't release the police reports. Because any moron can tell a car bomb. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've talked to people, Navy SEALs and others, where there have been cases of, say, a Navy SEAL slit somebody's throat in a bar argument. And then they're being brought up on murder charges. And the military marches in, military police, give the judge a national security letter. And then the Navy SEAL is taken out of the state and never charged. Okay, so believe me, folks, that's what they've told the cops. Obviously, it's a car bomb. And this is a new America where they just blow up your car. Obviously, the army. Blow up your car and then just tell everybody. Next, they'll say, don't even say the car blew up and there's fire coming out of it. So I saw this article uh, up at InfoWars, this uh, InfoWars.com uh, this morning uh, coming from uh, Paul Joseph Watson. And I have reached out to Staff Sergeant Biggs, his good friend. And we're reaching out to his wife as well to see if they're ready to, ready to uh, go public uh, fully. But she's already said uh, via Biggs at the funeral that She's going to, quote, bring down whoever did this. Well, you're going to bring down whoever did this by officially coming out. And, and there's starting to be more coverage of this. Uh, suspicions grow over death of journalist probing NSA CIA abuses. Alex Newman over at the New American Magazine is reporting on the fact that mainstream media uh, is now starting to cover all this. And... Again, there's the headline on the News 6 San Diego. Michael Hastings crash investigation heats up. How about there's a clear cover-up going on? I mean, folks, when they torched Dorner's cabin, even if Dorner was a bad guy, we don't know. Who knows if he even did it? When they said, we're going to burn it down, bring in the fire, okay, it's placed, we burned it down. All right, we burned him up. On audio, in front of everybody, six different feeds, different conversations, and then said, we never said burn him up. Well, yeah, you did. Okay, well, we didn't mean burn him up. I mean, they can now line you and your family up, machine gun you on the street. I've seen this where they've executed CIA section chiefs and people like Carney down in, down in Houston a few years ago. Cops get him out of the car, stand him up, shoot him right in the head. Guys just stand there with his hands at his side. Execution. Boom. They got hit teams in every major police department. This is a foreign banking cartel that's taken over and now thinks so little of you. They publicly fund Al-Qaeda. They publicly ship in the drugs. They publicly run the Mexican mafia. They publicly run all the major rackets. They publicly put cancer viruses in your vaccines. They publicly put fluoride in the water to brain damage you and give you cancer. They publicly do whatever they want out in the open. 85 billion taxpayer money stolen a month given to offshore banks. Congress is told they can't see where it's at. On and on and on. Yeah, there's footage out of Syria where the Al-Qaeda youth brigades are being trained. And that's in the news today. We're going to be breaking all of that down uh, and more uh, straight ahead here on the transmission. And Nomi Prinz, the former managing director at Goldman Sachs, is going to be in studio with us. We've flown in here to be interviewed for the Obama Deception 2 that is in production. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. But I wanted just out of the gates here when the broadcast starts before I get into some news to fire the number out for first-time callers to call in with any question that you have for yours truly. Because I get so many emails, so many comments, so many uh, requests to answer questions, it's pretty much impossible 
uh, to get to them all, but it's good, I think, to just open the phones up and take the wild card calls of questions. So uh, you've got questions. I'll try to give you my, uh, answers or at least my take on things. The toll-free number to join us is 800 259 9231 800-259-9231 on this Tuesday worldwide broadcast. I am completely overwhelmed with news right now. Uh, police and firefighters have been ordered not to speak about Michael Hastings' uh, explosion. LAPD refuses to release police report to journalists. Uh, the wife and his friends think they murdered him. He said, I'm getting death threats. I'm going into hiding. Biggest story of my life. His car blows up. And the so-called prostitute media will not even cover that. Two weeks after that broke on this broadcast. But now local news is saying, hey, we went to get the police report. That's normally released. They're saying they've been told not to release it. Gee, told by who? I can't tell you how many confirmed cases there are of police catch a plane on the tarmac, usually at a small town airport. There's been a lot of famous cases of this, and it's a CIA aircraft with drugs on it or a CIA aircraft flying kids out of the country or people to be tortured. I mean, you name it, it's evil. They're doing it. And there'll be a big standoff and the national security gets declared and then letters are issued to the police chief and the judges and they follow the orders and let them just go. And that's exactly what's going on here, as if the federal government and the shadow government that's hijacked it is God. And ladies and gentlemen, it is not God. Government and the corrupt bureaucracy that's taken over is not God. There's one of those bombshell stories. Then there's this video and audio we're gonna play later that a listener sent us that's breaking on Infowars.com. And we asked the question, you know, here in the article, uh, is this the TSA? And the answer is yes. Two years ago, Paul Watson noticed on the TSA's own website, training videos showing them at shopping malls in Florida and at football stadiums in Florida searching people. Well, now this is San Antonio. And folks, they never tell you where they're going to be. They had this Operation Independence last July 4th and over the weekend where they had TSA checkpoints in Austin, in San Antonio, in Dallas, in Houston. It all came out. But it's up to citizens to videotape this. And it's canine units with TSA on their shirts searching people at the mall. TSA invades roads, highways with Viper checkpoints. Now, again, that's what we reported on last week. Now it's in San Antonio. New article that came out last night on Infowars.com. TSA sniffing bags in Texas shopping mall. We're going to be getting to that. Also, we're going to be getting into the latest on the amnesty bill. Congressman says Obama jamming amnesty in the House, killing any type of real reform, and basically ignoring their oath of office, uh, a complete, absolute, criminal opening of the borders, a total legalization of anybody that wants to come here, absolute welfare to people that have been here illegally. The list goes on and on. We're going to be getting into uh, that report as well. And then we've got a good article that's very informative from Washington's blog up on Infowars.com. The fact that mass surveillance doesn't keep us safe goes mainstream. And then he lists a bunch of articles, mainstream articles where they admit, well, wait a minute, we've had all this NSA surveillance forever and it didn't stop all these terror events. In fact, you're even if, if the terror is real, you've got a better chance of being killed by a honeybee or, a, or falling in your shower or a bolt of lightning than terrorism. Why is this going on? Plus, it doesn't protect us from the terrorism. No, it is the pretext and the excuse to take over our lives. Duh. And I was thinking about all the new videos coming out of the TSA doing proctology exams, pulling diapers off babies, sticking their hands down women's pants. They're, they're, they're back doing it for a, a few, maybe six, eight months or so. The reports went down. They backed off. They would put kids through a different line. Now they're back doing it, so, so everybody knows. 
As soon as our resistance comes to a crescendo, they back off so that we back off and they come right back. And that's a warfare technique uh, used. And we are under attack, ladies and gentlemen, by the globalists. We are all being conditioned. They're trying to sabotage our industry, sabotage our jobs, uh, pay to ship our jobs overseas like they've done with General Motors. And now I see the video, new video, in Texas and other states where the police pull you over and say, I'm going to search the car. And they search the car. And then they say, I'm going to do a cavity search. And we played this video and audio yesterday. And the women say, you're joking. They're like, no. And then they go into your pants and grab you. And by the way, two women, one glove. And I hate to get gross about this. You know, my wife said, your show never used to be like this. Why are you? And I go, what am I supposed to do? Yes, my show for 17 years on air till the last year or so, I didn't talk about the police sticking their fingers in people. They're doing it. They're the ones doing it. I mean, I have to illustrate it so that the nightmare stops. I mean, I got to tell you now, uh, I took my wife out to a movie last night, went and picked my children up at my parents at about 9 o'clock, and I saw, let me not exaggerate, 15 police cars, all you know, state, local, you name it, pulling people over everywhere like a lurking barracuda. And when they pull you over now, they say, what's in the car? I want to search. And you got to say, no, that violence before the amendment. What are you hiding? Well, here, let me come search your car, bubba. This idea that we're all criminals, and then they, 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 any cop knows the government ships in the drugs. Any cop knows, I talked to them, that the big banks launder the money. That's all over the news. And they go, that isn't my department. I'm just doing my job, seeing if you got drugs. And I'm just like, just leave me alone. And I'm going to start, when I have time, I'm going to start pulling over and, and telling the cops, the government deals the drugs. I want to search your car. I am. I am. I'm going to drive around as soon as, because i got so much going on, folks. I'm working on average about 14 hours a day right now. Some days, 18 hours a day. But I need to go out with my crew and just pull up and say, hi, um, mind if I search your car? And they'll look at me like I'm crazy. And I'll go, statistically, police steal drugs more than any other group in the country. Would you like to see some criminality, uh, some, some uh, criminology in news articles? And I'll have uh, uh, you know, the, uh, some of the prestigiously... Uh, researched uh, university studies on it and and the cop is going to act like I'm completely crazy and I'll go wait a minute you pull people over for no reason and randomly ask to search and then intimidate people through color of law because they're ignorant to search their vehicles mind if I search and I guarantee it's going to be you get in your car and you get out of here you're interfering with the police officer's duties I saw a checkpoint on a neighborhood street when I was visiting family a couple of years ago, and I pulled over, I got out about 100 yards away, parked in the neighborhood, walked up nicely and said, hi, just to see what they do. It was about 10 DPS, and the one in charge go, you get in your car and you get out of here, because I am scum. I am a blood bag to pay his salary. I am food. I'm a dog. I am trash. I am filth. I am the scum of the earth. I am a nobody. And I said, wait, I was just going to walk up. I'm not, I'm not allowed to talk to you. And he began screaming, you get out of here. You, uh, just like crazy. And I said, okay, I thought that's how you act. I just was doing a test. I mean, completely insane. Completely wild-eyed. And I guarantee if I'd have been rude, he wouldn't have acted like that. I did it as a test. Just, and, of course, my phone was dead. I hadn't charged it. That was the other problem because I didn't get it on video. But it just shows the warped psychology. And we know the police are out of control in China. We know they're out of control in Russia. We know they're out of control in Mexico and Venezuela and Nicaragua and El Salvador and Brazil. We know they're out of control in Eastern Europe, but not America. No, no, our, our police are perfect. By the way, people all over the world that even live in third world dictatorships, watch how the police act in America, and they cannot believe it. They cannot believe it. They are like, why do Americans put up with this? Pull over to the side right there. Am I being detained or Pull am I free to go? Pull over to the side right there. It's a warrantless checkpoint. Okay, step on out. 
that's a warrantless check. And then the cops laugh at him. They go, he thinks he's got a constitution. <laughs> we ought to fast forward to that after the break. <laughs> Look at that scumball American. Yeah. Oh, it's the country's all ours. We'll spy on whoever we want. Government runs Al-Qaeda. Government ships in the drugs. Government going to force you to take shots. Nothing you going to do. Nothing you going to do. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team.
But getting back to this, this West Virginia video that we've had posted on Infowars.com for the last week or so, we played it on the nightly news. We never played it here on the radio. He comes up to a warrantless checkpoint. They want to search his car. He says no. They say, pull over there. I'm Yosemite Sam. And then they dig through and laugh about the Constitution and that he knows he's right. He ain't done nothing wrong. <laughs> and then you see the one cop. If you're a radio listener, you can't see it, but the video's up on the site. And he sees the camera. And by the way, we're studying and looking at a bunch of models right now of dash cams we, we recommend for people to get to put in their car to do just what they did here. Now listen to him. He's searching the car illegally. No warrant. No probable cause. At a giant checkpoint. Right out of Nazi Germany. Just digging through your car. But he's, he's perfectly innocent and he knows his rights. He knows what the Constitution says. You got air fresheners under the seat. Wasn't a very good alert. Uh-oh, they see the camera and shut up now. Yeah. He's like, hey, look over there, there's a camera. Oops. Now he's shining his light in it. And I love how cops pull you over and aggressively shove a light in your face. I mean, we put up with our kids being groped at the airport. Miss USA, they go in her body and she's crying and everybody just laughs. Because that's what, this is not what a free country does. America never acted like this and was the opposite of this. Nazi Germany didn't do stuff like this. They came and politely took you away. And it just goes on and on. And this is really nothing. I, I've, I've seen footage and put it in my film, Road to Tyranny, where the police find a pocket constitution at an unconstitutional checkpoint, and they begin hyperventilating in fear and arrest her for it, believing it's illegal. This is not a Monty Python satire. Uh, is this legal? I don't know, get a supervisor. Uh. It had George Washington, by the way, on the front of it. They get so scared by George Washington, and I guess they should be, that they begin hyperventilating. And, I mean, I gotta be honest with you, they're setting up more and more of these unconstitutional checkpoints. You pull up to them, uh, uh, and used to they said, mind if I search. And then you go, oh no, sure, because you, 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 nothing illegal in your car. When you do that, they will put you on the side of the highway with fire ants crawling up your leg for an hour and will tear your car apart and will, and will make you take your luggage out, make you take your spare tire out, and then go, all right, you can go looking for drugs that on record, two banks laundered $378 billion of drug money from 2007 to 2009. Wachovia, Wells Fargo, you know, Warren Buffett, no one got in trouble. They, they, they were leasing the aircraft to fly the drugs, the money, and the guns. They run it all. It's a $500 billion industry, one of the biggest in the U.S., one of the biggest in the world, just in the U.S. It's a giant business, and then they're like, you know what we'll do? <laughs> we'll make it illegal. This is 100 years ago, or about 80 years ago. And then when these idiots use it, we'll put them in our prisons. <laughs> and it goes on and on and on and on. And all the major banks do it. They run America. And then you get these cops. Imagine this. If you pull over to a group of cops sitting around talking and walk over and go, hello, officers. I think I'm going to do this here in Austin. I'm going to walk up with a camera and go, mind if I search your vehicle? And I bet they're going to arrest me and probably, like, I'm going to do it to state police because they're about the most aggressive in Texas now. And they're probably going to club my head and charge me with assault. I'm going to have a camera. I'm giving them fair warning, hidden across the street. I'm going to burn them. I'm going to burn them good. And that's the kind of stuff we need to start doing. Okay, it's time to get aggressive with this criminality. By the way, they had the head of the police union here in Austin come out and tell Antonio Beeler that he better stop filming police or something bad's going to happen. Something violent. What, like Michael Hastings, maybe? Because you're in charge now, aren't you? You can do whatever you want, can't you?
And again, I'm trying to note here the difference between constitutional police and what is taking over. Because imagine, I guarantee you, amount of us hurt your car, the cops are going to flip out. Well, well, how do you think we feel when you pull us over for some made-up thing and go, I'm going to search the vehicle, and then next, I'm going to run my hand up your rear end. How's that sound? You like land of the free? Yeah, you brave? You don't stand up against me, American scum? No, you ain't. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.